This is our leg swing dynamic warm up. Remember for this, this is for the hip. So we like to just kind of brace our core a little bit because we don't want the spine and the torso working a ton. We actually want it to be relatively still. So when we do that, I'm just gonna kind of tighten my core a little bit, not really hard, maybe like a two or three out of 10. And I'm gonna swing my leg back and forth. So up and back, up and back. About six to 12 seconds or so, just going back and forth. As I do my left one and then I do my right one, something to pay attention to is as your leg goes back that it's not actually rotating. Try to keep your toes pointed straight forward, even add a little bit of a kick right at the end. So you kick your heel towards your butt, almost like a donkey kick. Should feel a nice good stretch response here. As we go forward and backwards, the backwards is arguably a little bit more important. That's the thing that ends up getting really tight. You should feel a nice good eccentric stretch there. Try to kick your hand up towards your foot. Six to eight seconds of doing those. Eight to 10 seconds, not very long. Then we're gonna go side to side. So now up against, and I like to do this up against a wall next to my car before I uh, go for a run. Um, side of my house, anything that you can just put some weight on. Now, don't get super far behind, super far back. You're relatively upright. Again, tighten up the core so the torso is not moving a ton. And we're going side to side, trying to kick out back and forth. I do maybe five or six of those and just a couple of little kicks behind me just to feel that little bit of a stretch to the TFL. I also do it with my left leg, back and forth. Good, and then a little bit behind like that. Then our third one is our hurdle and reverse hurdle. Same position. The key with this is when people do hurdle and reverse hurdle, watch this knee. See how this knee never gets behind? I want to go back, up, and over that hurdle. Like I'm coming up and over a hurdle. We spend so much time in hip flexion, a lot of times we do it here, get back, up and over. So it looks nice and smooth like this. It doesn't look like this. Up and around, hurdle, and then reverse hurdle. Same concept, get that knee up and around, try to get as far as you can comfortably go. No pinch points, same thing on the left side. Up and around, and again, notice how I'm not hiking my hip to come up and around, hip stay nice and level. I'm working my hip up and around. I'm working my hip up and around, hurdle and reverse hurdle. Just about eh, six or eight of those each way. Warm up, get into your run. Take a look at our runner warm up. You'll see the whole series of everything put together takes 90 seconds.